Good morning, Gordon Bennett of Gordon Bennett Golf here at Ventana Canyon Country Club in Tucson, Arizona. I'm gonna give you some tips today on how to get out of bunkers successfully every time, get the ball closer to the pin, save yourself some strokes around the green, and in the end, you're gonna get a bonus practice tip that you can use to improve your bunker play. The first thing we have to remember is when playing out of the bunker, it's the easiest shot in golf because we wanna miss the ball entirely. What we want to do is hit behind it and let the sand carry the ball out of the bunker. One of the common mistakes I see when I'm working with people is that they try to help the ball get up in the air. And when they do that, they either hit the ball first or they hit too far behind the ball, try to lift it out of the sand and the ball stays in the bunker. So here in just a minute, we're gonna go in the sand trap and I'm gonna show you some ways that you can improve your bunker play. Let's get started. So here we are in the bunker, we're beside the green, we've got about 40 feet to the pin. One of the first things you need to remember is this shot's played a little differently than your normal shot. Your sand wedge is designed with what's called bounce on the back edge. That's to help it move through the sand. Now, as I mentioned before, people get in trouble when they try to help the ball up. Don't let the club do the work and don't let the sand bring the ball out of the trap. The other problem we see is people get their hands too far in front of the ball, dig down in, and don't get the club through the sand to get the ball out. So rule number one, always get it out on your first shot. Rule number two, get it close. So here's what we wanna do. When you stand up to the ball, dig in. Get a solid foundation with your feet. That also helps to set you a little bit lower than the ball so the club's gonna come in behind it. Once you dig in, your weight doesn't shift back and forth. At that point, everything you do is take the club up, hit behind the ball, come down through the sand, and let the ball go out to the hole. This is not a shot to be dainty with. Go ahead and hit it and let the sand and the loft of the club control the distance. It looks like this. If you do that, you're gonna get out every time, you're gonna hit behind the ball, you're gonna let the sand do the work. When we started today, I promised you a tip that would help your bunker play, and here it is. All too often, teachers focus on different positions and confuse the student when really what we're trying to do is ingrain a feel. So this will help you ingrain that feel of the club going under the ball, not being ball focused and letting the sand do the work for you. It involves styrofoam cup. Here's the drill. Put the cup over the top of your ball. Now we're gonna hit that shot, we're gonna make the ball come out of the bunker and we're not gonna break that cup. Here's how you do it. You set up exactly like we said before. Your weight goes left, you dig in. I'm gonna hit right behind that cup, but because I'm not focused on the ball, I'm gonna swing through the shot and let the sand do the work. It looks like this. If you follow those simple tips, your bunker game will improve and you'll save strokes around the green. If you like this video, share it with your friends, like our Facebook page, and as always, thank you for watching.